The tank is at once an amazing gift to artists and it's also an incredible challenge because it's such a specific space. You know, it is monumental, it's raw, it's brutal, it's aggressive, it has a, a profound sense of psychological atmosphere. It is a kind of instrument that artists can play. How are you going to work with light, with shadow, with sound, with the views from above, with the textures of the space, with the layers of memory and history that have accumulated here? And I like to think of the space as being like the unconscious of the museum. There's that wonderful transparent world you will walk through when you step into Sana's new building. And down here is a place perhaps for more speculative, possibly darker, more emotive, uh, more turbulent propositions. And our first artist, Adrian Villa Rojas, a wonderful Argentinian sculptor, has a great phrase. He says, the container is the content. So Adrian has really entered the space and the subconscious of the building, the speculative laboratory that sits under the more traditional looking museum. And he is helping us understand what the space can be. And in the project that he is creating called The End of Imagination, he really is thinking about the longevity of that idea of art, and he is creating art objects that have themselves traveled through time. They hold the evidence of thousands of encounters through time. In some ways, every one of these objects is itself a thousand objects. And as you make your way through this space, you will find yourself thinking, how did this come to be here? What are the stories this object is telling? What is the strange biography of this? artifact which has landed through some strange logic in this space which is of course itself thick with evidence of other times other conflicts other forms of growth and life and that's part of Adrian's mission as an artist I think is to create objects and scenarios which compel us to travel to other places to other times and from those places look back at ourselves with a sense of wonder perhaps fear, trepidation, but above all to sort of, uh, you know, shake us out of the present tense and try and understand where we are in a bigger picture of time and human conflict and human endeavour and artistic energy. It's a project that has unfolded in two important locations. When the pandemic occurred, Adrian was in lockdowns in New York and he spent almost two years developing a new software system that he dubs the Time Engine. It's really a series of multiple realities. Some of them include the surface of the moon, Mars, Earth after an extinction, the distant past, the far future. These are realities into which Adrian sent sculptural forms and watched what happened to them. He could see what happened to them across a matter of hours, across thousands, even millions of years. Then there is the city of Rosario, which is his hometown. And it was there that he established a huge workshop and began the arduous and amazing task of hauling those virtual sculptures out of those imaginary worlds and into the real world. But it's also really important to recognize that the tank is part of the project. The light and shadow will be part of the project. The way viewers move and interact with these objects will be part of the project. This is a deeply exciting space for any curator of contemporary art. It's a space in which so much is latent and ready to be uh, unlocked. So there's a thrilling history ahead of the space as well as the one that exists behind it.